All right, so I'm back again real quick to give you another little quick one uh, demonstration here, a little overview, okay? Uh, first off, last time we started with the I.O., Big Meter, More, and all the channels. So from now, here, I'm going to show you the next step, uh, which is, you know, filling this whole thing rack. Right? I'll fill in the whole rack here. And then, uh, just to know the bottom end, this is uh, how much computer power you're pulling, the meter for in and out, okay, how metering overall. Um, this is to turn the click on and off, free click, the volume of the click, you tap your tempo here. This is the master meter for a reason. You need the bars, below is the time, tempo, meter, 4-4, four, four, and then the transport controls. So that, Right, so that is your loop area. Turn loop on and off. You can see that turn on over here too. Okay, so we're going to get into uh, the next thing for you here is create menu. And in the create menu, we're looking at a few things, a few sections. First section is create an instrument, create an effect. Or you can go ahead and choose your own because they're pretty much categorized. Combinator is kind of like a master, um, kind of like stereo final. You know, you can open the combinator and it has this little black window here, like this little area where you can go ahead and if you it's red in there, you can go ahead and create another and then 19. You can stay in this window here, uh, create uh, another mixer that goes into the combinator. Put the mixer up here. Finally, you have a uh, room over here to create, you know, like three more, whatever. And they're all in here, but they're all going to be routed uh, out there, out there. Uh, let's see, let's take this out of the combinator right there. Right out this one here. So there are all three of these devices. Now go into the combinator here, which if I do this, uh, this is really backwards. Uh, we'll go into here. I'm gonna pull that out. So here. Okay, so now these three devices will go into this mixer, which will be mixed down into the combinator, which is then mixed onto just one channel, one channel on this mixer goes into the outs and that's kind of like a compressed thing but we're gonna go simple okay so I, I told you what the combinator was um, the combinator is you know uh, something where you can basically combine uh, multiple tracks and, and use them to submix and you know save space on your mixers here because you can create many many different submixes okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it simple I'm gonna not use a combinator, okay? And I'm gonna just use my mixer here, okay? The first move, it starts blank, but usually when you have a new one, it starts like this, okay? Uh, and so I'm going to create an N19 digital sampler, okay? And it has its own functions here. Usually it's ready to go, okay? Uh, but I wanna change the sound. Okay, so I click on this file menu, this little file thing right there, and then that will open up its menu. Uh, I can have favorites and you know different places in my location for favorites, but usually it just opens up its default. So I'm gonna go to there. I'm gonna choose the sound that you know, right, right. And so now I'm here. It's the NN19. It's going on channel one, and you can also see it in the sequencer window, right here. And so you can see that registers green right there. There's different modes of editing. Okay. You'll be able to see this as I uh, show you more. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the rack window. Okay. And so now that I have my keyboard, I've basically added my first instrument. Right. So the menus here are the combinator. Mixer, mixer. Uh, this whole area from Kong to Subtractor is uh, synthesizers. 
from uh, the M class. This is all uh, mixing components uh, and def different tweaking components. I, I guess you could say you know mixing mainly mixing and, and, and uh, e you know EQing components, uh, equalizer, stereo imager, maximizer, uh, compressor, okay, uh, mastering suite combinator, uh, and then the next below that I believe would be uh, digital effects, meaning advanced reverb and different you know, two, a distortion unit, uh, vocoder, digital vocoder, if you had some type of digital sample or, or voice sample. Uh, below that is another line of, you know, dig different type of effects, reverbs, delays, distortions, comb fil uh, envelope control filters, flangers, phasers, and unison. Uh, unison will take a sound and then, you know, double it either lower or higher. It'll usually help us sound make make it sound uh, fatter. Uh, compressor limiter, uh, two band EQ, a spider uh, audio merger or splitter, okay, uh, CV merger and splitter. So these are good when you're, you know, trying to take one thing and split it many different ways. Okay, goes for the other one as well. Okay, and you're just splitting. Uh, matrix pattern sequencer. Uh, sequencer. Uh, okay, we're not going to be using that, but that is definitely something we can, it controls uh, the different sequence, sequences uh, that can possibly happen within reason. Okay. Monophonic arpeggiator and then rebirth input. Rebirth is a total different uh, application that you can get that will you know align itself with uh, reason. So. Go. I broke down the whole, and then obviously you can, you know, choose this and go and you know do the browser browser version of what I just kind of did for you. You know, It'll, but you just have to learn the different uh, uh, how do you say extensions for for the different instruments. You see that that XWV is uh, Maelstrom. Okay, and cancel. I mean, you don't do it this way. Okay. So that's the menu of create. That's the create menu. That's the create menu. And so now I'm going to lay down. I'm going to go here and start my loop. Do a four bar loop. It's a loop on the five. It'll give me a pre count. Right? I'm going to turn the click on. Um, right? Look at that. That happened. Let's look at this. Two, three, four, one. All right. So it started counting right there. I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to have some fun. Okay, so... that right there. I'm going to go and double click it. Okay. So now what I'm looking at is the actual So you know the way I got here was uh, from the 
song to block to edit. And I'm in edit mode. And basically what I'm doing in edit mode is uh, taking the piano roll and being able to fine tune my performance. Okay? And then so in song I'm looking at in song mode I'm looking at the block. And it's a different zoom. Zoom in here using the zoomer tool. Right? You can also use these tools right here. Zoom wide like that. Okay, can use that to zoom in and out. And then I can go to block mode, and go to edit mode, and the edit mode is the mode I wanted to be in right now. And uh, there's another little edit tool for this. Okay, okay. Put that down there. For this in general, zoom in more, more and more and more. Okay, all right, so I'm cool. All right, I'm good. I think I'm cool. And then let's just go ahead and push play. Thing I'm going to show you is uh, drums. 